I just, uh, ooh, I just swallowed a fly. Hi, my name is Orda. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm on a mission to get healthy. So if you've been watching my channel, I don't know if you remember when I said this. I just don't think I'm ready to be out running in the wild. Like, I just don't think the people in the area in which I live are ready to see that. I don't plan on ever running. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna run. And I've decided to run one mile a day every day for 21 days. I have no idea why I wanna do this, like zero reasons why I wanna do this. Well, I don't know, probably um, it just sounds healthy, you know? Just, just going for a run, you know? Just off for a run. But yeah, genuinely, I do see people out running all the time and I think like, why? Why are you doing that? Why? Like, does that not hurt? Why are you doing that? That looks so grim. Why would you do that to yourself? But um, equally, I'm also like, wow, look at that person run. <sighs> Wish I could run. All the time. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I just think like there's something glorious about being able to run. And also as a woman, it would be nice to know um, that I could run away from danger sometimes. I have had so many weird dreams of like apocalypse sort of scenarios where I'm trying to run and all my friends are jumping over a wall and I can't do it because I'm too chubby. And in that moment when I'm getting killed by zombies, I'm thinking, why? Why did you continue to be such a little chubba chops? Why? Why can't you scale this wall? Run! And because I can't run, I have actually been in an outrageous amount of embarrassing situations surrounded by the fact that I can't run. So it's probably something good to remedy. Like in school, they annually made you run 800 meters in front of all your peers, super embarrassing, no sports bra, it was dreadful, dreadful. It was so embarrassing. I would genuinely be too afraid to sweat so much and not because the humidity would just make my hair go absolutely crazy, full Hermione Granger, but because you didn't have time after PE to get a shower and get changed and get to Spanish class in time without Miss O'Loughlin screaming in your already mortified face in front of all the peers that have just seen you nearly pass out. Why are you late? Why are you late to my class? Anyway, forget about that. And we'll do the adult version where you just go out, you're just as sweaty, just as unfit, but like you don't care because you don't know any of these people and like at this point, like who cares? <laughs> so wish me luck, come along for the ride. It's gonna be three weeks of sweating and hyperventilating. But um, yeah, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. It really helps out the channel and it encourages me. So see you tomorrow for run number one. Good morning and welcome to day one of running one mile a day for 21 days. I'm so scared. So my boyfriend Ryan has very graciously offered to come with me. Um, he goes out running, well he used to go out running all the time and he goes out sporadically now so it's not going to be hard for him. So we've planned out a small route. They are short shorts. <laughs> Look at these shorts. Running shorts. Oh my god, they're short shorts. I also have two sports bras on because I know you guys will want to know that information. Okay, so we're going to go now. I'm a professional runner now.
I smell. <laughs> the thing is, like, I'm kind of enjoying it, but it is hell when I'm out there. And it's not hell from the sense of, like, oh, my body hurts, because my body doesn't really hurt. Like, my legs hurt a little bit at one stage, but it's just my breath. I'm finding it hard to control my breath. So I'm doing, like, sorry, I've got my retainer in, <laughs> but I'm doing, like, like, really heavy breathing, like, <sighs> And like that seems to work better than like the shallow breaths, like <laughs> because that does panic you, doesn't it? That is helping. That is definitely something. If I were you, and you were me, <laughs> yeah, that is helping. Like if you were um, thinking about starting it, and you're in a similar position to me, who hasn't run in their like adult life, then yeah, do the heavy breathing, um, like. <sighs> Yeah, you get me. <laughs> like you're pregnant, yeah, like that type of one, like you're giving birth. Ooh, and whilst we're giving out advice, I would highly recommend stretching, something I totally overlooked in the first couple of days because obviously that is something I would overlook and couldn't be asked with, but it helped. I had quite a sore hip at one stage and this helped to alleviate a good bit of that pain. Not at all, but a good bit. up my routine today so it is now what time is it eight o'clock it's not it's like 20 past eight i think it's 25 past eight and i have not went at night and i haven't went for my run yet you can do it. i don't want to so i'm gonna have to get changed and go 25 past eight christ okay so i've told myself i'm gonna run every day so i need to run every day but i don't want to run today Ooh, it was so high pitched. I feel like I've beckoned the dolphins. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pump, pump, pump it up. Oh God, there's. I always forget that people can see into my flat and uh, I'm always acting an Egypt and then they can see in at me being an Egypt. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go for my run. Let's go. Okay, let's just, let's just go. I just, uh, ooh, I just swallowed a fly. Oh, I was running and I, was, oh, I just felt it going there. I just swallowed it. I didn't want to spit in front of people in the light. I'm not even supposed to eat animals. Oh my god. That was so, so disgusting. Is it as disgusting as this double chin angle though? I don't know. But there's vomit. That's how I feel. I'm so, oh god, it's so gross. It's so gross. Anyway, <coughs> I really didn't want to go tonight <laughs> as usual. But because I've been doing my morning routine, I've been getting up and just going for my run, which has made it, oh my God, it's made it so much easier. Because tonight it was like 25 past eight and literally I just remembered, I was like, oh, I didn't go for my run. Well, actually ran, my boyfriend turned to me and said, you haven't been for your run? And I was like, oh no. And then I just, I just got up, complained about it for a little bit, put on me and went for my run. And <clears throat> other than the fly gate, <clears throat> it was actually really, really fun. Oh my God. Welcome to the very last day of the challenge. I have been unable so far to run the full mile without stopping at least three times. So today I want to run that bad boy mile without stopping or stopping only twice. Let's go.
Yes, yes, get all the chips. Probably the farthest you're on, though. Yeah. We've only ever got ten lights before. One stop. Spoiler, I actually had to stop twice and it was because I really needed to spit. So I'm pretty gross. And here it is, the final hurdle in real time. I try and run as fast as possible on the last stretch because I honestly just want it over and done with. I had no idea that my bum shook like this in real life. I really could have been doing without knowing that information, but now I know it. And here I am out in the wild like a little chubby ninja. Getting after it, yes. enjoyed that challenge and I think it's something I might actually implement or try and keep up like the thought of maybe running a 5k is pretty cool I did kind of enjoy that I seen myself get slightly better and um, three weeks I guess is nothing but I think that yeah I feel like it's something I could potentially implement and keep up and I might actually enjoy it only takes like 15 20 minutes every morning and that's shorter than most workouts and you don't need any equipment you just go outside and do it um, however it might be a little bit strenuous in the rain or like in the winter i was just really lucky i think with the weather so let's get right into the weigh-ins so when i started this challenge um three so weeks ago i weighed 227 pounds and at the end of the challenge i have weighed in at 219 pounds point six Meaning I've lost seven and a half pounds. Woo! Grand total loss, 21 pounds. A stone and a half. Hello. Definitely have upped my cardio, which is great. I feel like I have got more endurance. Therefore, I feel more healthy. And that's what it's all about. I've lost a little bit of weight and I feel a bit more healthy. And if I just keep doing that, then yeah, like that's the goal, isn't it? straight into a new challenge as well so that'll be out next monday if you've got this far into the video thank you so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe below it really helps out my channel also if anyone's actually tried the couch to 5k let me know below because that might be something later down the line maybe after this challenge i might potentially look into depending on what everyone else thinks yeah, and if anyone else has any challenges you'd like me to try or you think are beneficial that you've maybe tried, then let me know and I'll give them a go. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next Monday. Bye. I feel like Mr. Blobby. Oh God, the fly, the fly's trying to get out. <clears throat> fly free. Fly free.